Good morning guys, my name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Archivet YouTube channel. Today, you might be like, where are you at? We're here at the Kansas State Fairgrounds, and this is why. Let's roll that intro and dive in. Real quick before we get started on Miss Dora here, I just want to tell you a little bit, a little story of my history growing up, and it starts right here at the Kansas, the Kansas State Fair, and actually right there, right there. That's where my grandpa and grandma had their their concession stand, the hoof and horn, which they sold, and is now in that portion of this building. But I remember being a kid playing right out here. My dad played out there. And we have the grandstands, races, all sorts of fun stuff go on there. So, what we're here today for is the seven things that I love about my Corvette SUV. And just why she's a Corvette SUV. Well, if we take a walk around, we see, oh no, there's another, four, I need another magnet, guys. We gotta put another Arctic Vet magnet there. She is tagged. Arctic vet everywhere all four sides so that is why she is a Corvette <laughs> the one and only Corvette SUV so that's number one and number two we're gonna go into some of the modifications that I've done now there's more specifically about the car that when I got it I just I loved and that's what made me buy it the the push bar the lights and then later on my wheels and lift kit and the tires absolutely love them two inch wheel spacers 18 inch tires or uh, wheels with uh, 30 inch tires on there it just they look amazing they they actually perform perform amazingly too it makes this front wheel drive explorer i mean corvette suv feel like an all-wheel drive corvette suv <laughs> i'm just gonna start calling it corvette <laughs> so that's the second thing the 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 main thing that made me want to buy this car and i'm i'm gonna be completely honest and i don't i don't care what kind of slack i get is the color this color is the same color that our sheriff our patrol cars used when i bought it now they have a whole nother look now and they look completely different so the, it kind of still gets people tricked up sometimes, especially with that bull bar in the front, that push bar. However, the color was a big seller. I love blue. I was tired of getting red, or not red, I'm sorry. I was tired of getting like silver and black, and so blue it was. Blue, was, it's just, I love it. I love this. So then for another modification that I had to do, my my trailer hitch i had to do that but let's step inside oof fail it's locked that's something i really like too is this easy entry you don't have to have a key you just put your hand right there i mean you have to have a key to my pocket but it's a proximity thing this part was the number one reason that i was like you know what okay i will consider this car because it has a dual pan roof. They call that the, you got the dual pan roof, I believe is what they call it. So it's got the moon roof on the back and it's got the sunroof up front. Now, that feature alone, with, along with the price, really sold me on this car. So I couldn't go with anything else really. I, I just had to do it. <laughs> the price was right, the, the um, color, uh, well okay guys here I'll tell you a secret I wasn't driving that Jeep back from Oklahoma <laughs> and if you know what Jeep I'm talking about thank you for supporting the channel for so long and if you don't know what Jeep I'm talking about go ahead in the description there is a Jeep playlist go check that thing out and oh my gosh enjoy it enjoy it Whew. that Jeep is one of the breadwinners here on the channel and it's gone it's been gone so, gosh, where is that at? I, I don't even know what number I left off on. 
Um, shoot, the first one is the Corvette. Second is my modifications that I have done. The third is that it performs like an all-wheel drive with this setup. Fourth would be my my uh, color. My color is part of it. The moon roofs have been five. And well, what is six and seven? Comment down below what you love about Dora. Let me know what you love about Miss Dora here. But why you guys do that? I I have to tell you a little story. <laughs> Again, <laughs> when I was looking for a car, my my biggest thing, the biggest thing that I needed is it needs to do well in all weather no matter what what season it is it needs to do well and i need to have enough seating there's four of us right there's me adi riley and cohen there's four of us that means with four of us there were three extra seats that's that was my thought at the entire time was okay cool you know maybe a future wife girlfriend whatever can sit up front with me and then boom we got two extra seats still well the two extra seats Adi could bring a friend Riley could bring a friend and it's worked out it's been amazing we've been able to go go to Florida with two extra people with us and drive there comfortably carrying all of our stuff that's amazing that's amazing. That was a big selling point for it too. Was the amount of space in the back. Because I you guys know, you see, I haul stuff. I I put stuff back here. This this trunk is a disaster right now. <laughs> and by disaster I mean we've got some Kleenex and some drinks. But the room, the room that's back here is just amazing the seats fold down they go up and they're separate so either one of them can be up or down or both down or both up and then you still you still have tons of room right down here to to put a uh, to put your your groceries and all that kind of stuff so even though even though there's a lot wrong with the explorer i mean the corvette suv I really really do love this car now when I bought it I had a good job COVID hit I lost that job since then I've been struggling to keep it but the number one thing is by God's grace and by praying I have been able to do just that and keep door of the explorer and i'm really hoping that in the next two years that i can pay her off completely and she'll never i'll never have to worry about another family car again because i'm telling you if this motor goes out it is getting an ls swap it's it's happening and we're gonna make it like rear wheel drive or maybe all wheel drive because these do come in that they do and we could totally do that i think it'd be amazing anyways if you guys enjoyed this, this funny, fun video, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button because we are on our way to 10,000 subscribers. Yes, we're going to stop at 2K, 3K, 4K, 5K, 6K, 7K, 8K, 9K. And then we're going to hit 10K with your guys' help. So go ahead, smash that button. Tell a friend, subscribe to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. We appreciate y'all. Have a great day. And God bless. I mean, would you just look at that thickness? Like, dang, girl. Oof, I forgot the mud flap. I love the mud flaps. She's thick with them two-inch wheel spicers, though. Hee-hee. <laughs>